Hello everyone, this is James Shore with another test driven development video. At the end of the last video, we had tried to create some code to assert that a uh, table event was being fired. That code, and then we implemented the code to make it work, and it didn't. So, oh, well, and it may just be so as simple as having the assert in the wrong spot. Let's see if that works. Ah, there we go. Awesome. Okay, so that's working. Now, I think I'll add a little bit more of a assert. This is probably overkill, but first, uh, the first row should have been zero. Because we, what I want to assert is that um, the whole table should have changed. And then we'll do the same for the last row. See, kidney guy, I do use control space. There we go. Um, oh, interesting. Huh. That's really interesting. So what is that? Integer dot max int. Hmm. This, um, I'm going to go ahead and leave these asserts in. These seem extremely implementation specific, like uh, Sun, or I guess Oracle now. Somebody out there could decide to change the way that this works so it only goes with the actual rows of the table. Seems unlikely, but I'd hate for this code to break if that happened. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and leave this in because I think it documents a little more clearly. Uh, so this test is a little confusing uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with the style. Uh, what we're doing is we're creating the new projection, then we're setting the projection. So this line runs, this line runs, this line runs, which causes this line to run, which causes this line to run, which then causes this line to run, this line to run, this line to run, and then this line to run. So it's a little bit weird. Uh, we've got a very much have the wrong order of events here. And I think a, a way of fixing this to make it a little more clear would be to set some values here and then um, and then do asserts. So yeah, actually, let's try that. That might clean this up. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some instance variables on this. Um, so I'm going to make a table model listener. Uh, this is going to be our test listener, and on this I'm going to put a couple of public instance variables. Some of you are throwing up a bit in your mouth right now. Public instance variables are not as evil as you think they are, um, because there's really no difference between a public instance variable and a private instance variable with public accessors and mutators, getters and setters. Uh, it's the same exact semantics. So when I have something where I just want to make it public and I want to be compact, uh, and I'm not putting any logic, particularly for this kind of code, I just make the variable public. Uh, I imagine I will get some notes about how wrong I am, and that's okay. So we'll default that to false. Um, we'll default this to minus one just so that we know it changed. Um, actually, let's make it that. And then we can put in this code.
it's not letting me oh hmm I don't have a way of getting at you know it's stuff it's stuff like this Java <laughs> it's shit like this <laughs> that pisses people off um, let's see I guess can I do this is an anonymous inner class inside this method. Um, could I, I don't remember, can I just say public class or class uh, test listener extends table model listener, is that legal? Implements. Yeah, it looks like that will work actually. I, I don't know if we're actually in if this improves the code very much. It, it, in a lot of ways, it makes it worse. Um, but the cool thing about this is now all of our assertions line up nicely, um, which makes the, the structure of the test a little easier to follow. A little bit. Yeah, is that an improvement? Nah. No, not really. It's not really an improvement. It's way longer. Um, well, we don't need this at least. I don't know. Um, I'm really used to look to reading that old style, the other style. This is nice in that our assertions all go in order. Um, the old style works for me. I'm going to go ahead and leave it like this. Let me know in the comments uh, on my website, which is jameshore.com. Uh, let me know in the comments on this video what um, which style you prefer, because I, I really don't know. I, I kind of like the last one, but I like... I will sometimes choose compact code over readable code, and um, I can take that too far. So for stuff like tests where I've got multiple assertions for tests, I think that's, that's just, just fine. But stuff like this where the assertions are actually happening in a different order than they're written, that's pretty unreadable. So anyway, there we have it. It's working. Um, stock market table is now setting up the projection and change, firing the table data changed. Uh, I'm going to do this to say set projection uh, should change table model. And set projection should fire update event. Normally I would put these in the same test, but this is so long I think it would be confusing to put them in the same test. So I am not going to combine them like that. Okay, so next up, we're done with stock market table model. That should just work. Next I believe we needed to go into application model, which is where exactly? Did I put that in the wrong? Oh, look at that. It's in the wrong spot. I'll move it. Let's get rid of that warning. Um, okay, so application model is next. And what we need to do in application model is have set starting balance change the stock market table model. 
which raises an interesting question because I can easily check that we've changed the stock market projection, but uh, I need to check that we are actually not caching the stock market table model and with the old values and that we're actually changing that. So one way to do it would be to check to see if the event was fired. Um, but I don't really like that. Um, I think what I'm going to need to do then is to have a way on stock market table model to get the projection back out. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm not going to, I was going to say I'm not going to write a test on it, but I think I will, actually. Um, what I'm going to do is down here, should change, set projection should change table model. Um, so this will be change to projection should reflect in methods uh, and also just projection should have changed. So I'll add a quick get projection method on there that will facilitate this new test. Oh, this will take forever. Let's get that up here. That test should fail. Expected that was null. Easy peasy. Okay, so now that we've got that, now in our test we can ask for that projection. So and actually this might change yeah now we can say something along the lines of uh, what I avoid testing before, we can say the um, stock market table model should use projection. Or even better yet, I'll make this be stock market table model dot get projection. which will allow us to make stock market table model private or stock market projection private because that's not part of the portfolio of application model. It's not what application model is supposed to be about. It's not going to tell people what the projection is. It's just going to provide models to use in the UI. That's the purpose of it. Okay. So Yeah. Okay. Works. Works for me. Um, so next up, we need to say that um, changing starting balance should change stock market table model, and that is where we will pick up next time. So thanks everybody for watching and I will catch you next time.